John McPhee is used to this kind of view. It's how he spent countless nights staring down battlefields in Iraq and Afghanistan. Tonight, he's just hunting wild beavers. We're in North Carolina on a night hunt with John McPhee. He's a retired Army Sergeant Major, but more importantly, he was a sniper in the Delta Force, did eight tours over the course of eight years in Iraq and Afghanistan. McPhee was nicknamed the Sheriff of Baghdad. You might think the movie American Sniper and the story of Chris Kyle would be just the kind of film McPhee would love to see, but you'd be wrong. I think he's a hero. I, I applaud him for his service. You know, I feel sorry for his wife and kids, you know. My heart goes out to him, but, you know, the story's ripe with inaccuracy, and I don't think Hollywood made it better. Do you worry that the average American might see the movie as more of a documentary than entertainment? Of course they will. You know, it's a look into stuff that they don't get to look into. And because there's a real guy behind it, they're going to see it as this is all truth and fact. Whereas when you watched it, it's crap. Harsh criticism from a soldier who says he was deeply embedded in the hunt for the terrorist Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. McPhee says the movie is filled with poor military tactics and outlandish scenarios that would never happen on the battlefield. When people talk about Chris Kyle, it's like, oh, he's... Uh, been credited with at least 160 kills. Um, is that the kind of information you guys get, or is that something? No one talks about that stuff. Like, um, I mean, look, you know, my first day in war, December 2001, we killed a thousand dudes. Like, can I count that? Should I have counted? Like, how do you count? CNN analyst and retired Delta Force Commander James Reese was also a sniper. He served grueling tours of duty in the Battle of Fallujah. Reese says the American sniper film did do a good job of capturing the stress snipers endure on the battlefield and once they come home. It is a very intense, it's PhD level work that the snipers have to do. They're by themselves or with a spotter, so one or two people and they're by themselves and that's all they have and everything is on them and it takes a very psychologically strong person to get in and do that. These days, John McPhee is far from the battlefield. He might not have liked the American Sniper movie, but understands why millions are flocking to see it. People support soldiers. People want to know what it's like. Anytime a movie comes out that is even remotely close or true, people are going to go check it out. And Aaron, that is the view from the snipers. But here in Stephenville, Texas, where the murder trial for Eddie Ray Ralph, the man accused of killing Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield two years ago. Development here tonight, Aaron, the jury has been picked. Ten women and two men will begin hearing opening statements and the testimony and the evidence in this case starting Wednesday morning here in Stephenville. Aaron.